In this lesson, I'll show you a few basic examples on how to find the area and circumference of a circle. The formulas that you'll need to calculate these two things are shown on your screen. Let's start with question number one. We're asked, find the circumference and the area of a circle of radius 4.82 centimeters. Now, we'll start with circumference. Circumference is a word for the perimeter of the circle. In other words, the distance around the shape. The formula for circumference, we have two. We have c is equal to 2 times pi times r, or c, which represents circumference, is equal to pi times d. Now, if you've been given the radius, you should use this formula. And if you're given the diameter, you should use this formula. Let's start with this one. We'll rewrite it as c is equal to 2 pi r. Notice that in my version, I have not included the multiplication symbol, and that's fine. So I'll substitute 4 decimal 8, 2 into r. I end up with 2 times pi times 4 decimal 8, 2. I'll use my calculator. 2 times, I have the symbol for pi, so I can activate that. And if you don't have the symbol for pi, you can use 3 decimal 141 times 4.82, and we end up with 30.28. Now because this number has three significant digits, I'll stop writing after the third digit here. Following that third digit is 8, so I'll round up by 1. I end up with 30.3. 30.3 centimeters is my circumference. Now I'll move on to the area. Now we have two versions of the area formula. We have this one, which relates the area and the radius, and we have this one which relates the area and the diameter. We've been given the radius, so I'll use this formula. We have a is equal to pi times r, which is 4.82 raised to the power of 2. Now in between these two numbers is multiplication. So once again, I'll open up my calculator. I'll click the pi button, shift, and then this, times 4.82 raised to the power of 2. Now if your calculator does not have a power function, then you can multiply 4.82 times 4.82. It's the same thing. And we end up with 72.9. And since this has three digits, I'll stop writing after the third, followed by an 8, so this 9 will go up by 1. We end up with 73.0. 73.0 centimeters, and since it's the area, we'll write down squared. Now question two is slightly more complicated because it requires a little bit of algebra. The question reads, if a circle has an area, this time of 15 units squared, what is the circumference? So they tell us the area and they want us to find the circumference. Now to find the circumference, we need the radius. And we can find the radius by using this formula. And here's how. First, I'll take this 15 and replace it with that a. 15 is equal to pi r squared. And as I mentioned, I need to use a little bit of algebra. So to find out what r is, I'll divide both sides by this pi symbol. We have 15 divided by pi. And if I divide the right side by pi, the pi symbol will cancel out, leaving me with 15 over pi is equal to r squared. To find out what r is, given that it's being squared, I can reverse the square by square rooting both sides. So if I square root the left side and the right side, I'll end up with r only on the right side. And I can use my calculator to find out what r is. So I'll write down the square root of 15 divided by pi. And we get 2 decimal 18. And if you want this to two digits, then you can stop writing after this one. It's followed by an eight. So we can write down two decimal two as our radius. Now they want the circumference. So the formula we will use is the same one that we used in question one. We have c is equal to two pi r. And just to mention that if you want to be super accurate, you could have kept that number as it was and not rounded until the very end, but I'll just use 2.2. .2. So I have 2 times pi times 2.2 .2. using my calculator, 2 times pi times 2.2 .2 gives us roughly 13.8 or rounded to two digits, 
14 units. And there you have it. That is how to find the area and circumference of a circle.